Console players out there, I have a legit way in which you can farm the new Broken Hearts Day legendary weapons. Those are the Wedding Invitation Sniper and the Polyamorous SMG. 100% safe, no editing or messing around with those save files, a simple method in which you can farm these weapons until you get the perfect roll for your build. How's it going guys, my name's DPG and today I'll bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you want to see more. On screen now you can see my weekly giveaway along with last week's winner. To be in with a chance of winning this yourself, follow the instructions on screen now and good luck. Okay, so PC users can play around with their save files to make farming said legendaries quite simple. Console players like me can't do this or in reality don't want to risk messing around with save files or the cloud and so forth. I mean, I've done this in the past on a previous game, made a mistake and lost a lot of things. Now this console method is a legit in-game farming method with no messing around at all with any save files. We just take advantage of in-game features. So console players listen up. Xbox players, PlayStation players, this is what you need to do. On your console, if you haven't already, make a second account, make a second profile. Most of us have these in place already, but if you don't, create one. This will cost you nothing. You won't have to buy the game or the DLC or anything like that to play it. This is 100% free and won't cost a thing. A second account can run off and play everything the main signed in account has access to. So after making that second account, you will then need a second controller connected to your console. So at the main menu on Borderlands, click on add split screen. You will then need to dismiss this message using that second controller. What you will then have to do is sign in on that profile you just made with that second controller. Either the profile you just made or the one you already had created. It doesn't matter as long as you don't select your main player one profile here. What I did next was, just for demonstration purposes for this video, with my second controller and my alt account, I created a new Vault Hunter starting fresh at a level 1. This you can skip if that second connected account doesn't already have a character set up. So upon doing that, using your main profile, continue into Borderlands. Now when you load in, if you like I said on that second profile don't already have a Vault Hunter created, go ahead and create one. Doesn't matter what class either. Then it's just a matter of leaving that second controller completely alone for now. Now all you have to do people is load into Eden 6 and go to the Voracious Canopy. So load in here. Once you've loaded in, follow the route I take on screen now. Your second connected account doesn't have to be touched at all, just leave them be. So follow the route I take on screen now. This I will make full screen so it's easier for you to see.
So once you get here, activate this save point machine or this checkpoint. Now this area is amazing for those hearts, which are obviously needed for those two legendaries and unlocking them, or 100 hearts in total. Now here is the sneaky part which I figured out. Destroying ghosts on your main counts for your ult, and these weapons, no matter what level you are people, always drop at a level 53. So even though your ult account Vault Hunter is freshly made on a low level, the weapon will still drop at a level 53, meaning when you destroy those ghosts for your auto account and your auto account gets that loot, you can simply drop it for your main. So back to this farm. When you initially get here or after you've quit out and loaded back in, you first need to take out these enemies down in this corner. Then dinosaurs will throw themselves down the waterfall with a ton of hearts that follow. Simply just destroy the hearts, then quit out and load back in. You will spawn back at that save point and you're good to keep farming. Your ult will spawn here also. You can leave him to die if you want, it doesn't really matter as he will just respawn in the same place anyway. Now legitimately people, I did this and farmed 100 hearts for my ult in about 15 minutes. So it's more or less every 15 to 20 minutes you can indeed farm these weapons people. And if you ain't happy with the rolls you get, repeat the process creating a new vote hunter like I showed towards the start of the video. It really is as simple as that and I truly hope this helps my fellow console players out. Now if you have any questions feel free to hit me up on my discord linked within the video description. By the way this also works by you inviting a friend who's just created a freshly leveled character too if that's what you want to do. So if you want to carry a friend to those 100 hearts by destroying the hearts for him you can do that you can do this in slaughter shaft you can do it on the system of slaughter you can do it absolutely anywhere but in my opinion this place within the voracious canopy is by far the quickest way in getting these hearts so yeah guys i really do hope this helps you out and helps you get that loot you indeed deserve on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps me out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.